generation one passes away, generation two has absolutely no idea what's going on, makes bad decisions, not because they're bad people or because they don't, they're not smart or whatever, it's just they haven't built the framework to be able to do it. We believe at Capital Gains Tax Solutions that that is, that 84 trillion is, is, is going to fund, can fund, and will be the solution for building the housing if we can unlock the capital. Yes. If we can unlock the capital in a tax efficient way that benefits the community, we have plenty of money to build. So it's not a money problem, it's the movement and the placement and the entrust it with a group who's going to do right and do well and still make a profit. Right. So do you want to just uh, touch on anything about that? Yeah, and I mean, you, you touched on one of the crises that we're also trying to solve for, which is the wealth and legacy crisis. So there's this shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves uh, story out there where you know upwards of 80% of all of the families out there lose their generational wealth by generation three. So generation one makes all the money and creates that legacy. And then typically the vast majority of all families lose it and have to start from scratch by generation three. So in terms of talking about legacy with our investors, and it's so crazy sometimes, Brett, that you sit down with a family and they're, you know, by all accounts, sophisticated investors. They are really, really good at whatever it is they've done to amass that wealth. They've never had a conversation about what they do or what they think about or how they're thinking about legacy with their own kids. And so what happens is you end up having these conversations with these folks, and this is what we do at our events, and this is what we do one-on-one -on -one every day, is, again, taking away those boundaries to say, guys, you need to talk about this stuff because otherwise you're going to have to be reactive once the, you know, the, that generation one passes away. Generation two has absolutely no idea what's going on, makes bad decisions, not because they're bad people or because they don't, they're not smart or whatever. It's just they haven't built the framework to be able to do it. So what we're trying to do is, and our funds are the conduit to this because you need to have that capital to be able to do it, to your point. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to, again, define that legacy, understand what it is they're trying to do with this, the impact they're trying to make, what that means for their family. If they don't have kids, what are the philanthropic uh, goals they have? Those are the, the, the things that we're talking about. And we talk about, you know, success to significance and more than money. Like, this is what we're doing it for. And so to your point, this wealth transfer, yes, it's going to be able to help us s chip away at the, 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 the affordable housing crisis, right? But it's also that bigger picture of really setting families up for generations to be able to preserve that legacy and then keep it going for, for generations to come. I absolutely love how your values at DLP Capital and the values that you live and Don lives and the leadership team and all the team members at DLP Capital, how they all intertwine together, right? <laughs> <laughs>